like you. They're very pretty. These were her favorite. I haven't seen these in such a long time. They smell just like mother used to. Thank you. Thank you so much for remembering. The Major's Collective thanks you. Make us smile upon you. There she is. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? Eh, you haven't met her, I take it. Uh, we parted company under <laughs> less than friendly terms. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Akron, is that you? Yeah, in the flesh, baby. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? Well, someone's gotta do it, you know? <laughs> Can't leave a blight to the humans. They'll just muck it all up. The whole surface to choose from, and you just happen to come to my tavern? Yeah, well... Uh... What? Oh, right. It's fate, Felsi. What can I say? Fate? The ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. Sure they do. <laughs> You've had a good look at Lady Helmy, haven't you? If her face isn't a joke the ancestors are playing, I'm a Brontos behind. So, Lady Helmy must be a paragon of beauty, then. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Ogryn? Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. If by fun you mean more likely to light farts on fire, yes. Oh well, it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Wait, you're leaving. You just got here. I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. Well, you can't keep the archdemon waiting. You hurt its feelings and might just turn the whole blight around and go home. Nobody wants that. Well, you don't need to fight it right now, do you? I mean, you could have a pint first. You could call me a surly Bronto. <laughs> I could tell you that you smell like nut droppings. I'll tell you what, I got some things I gotta do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled, you frigid deep stalker. Fine. But you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper-plated sword cast. Wouldn't dream of it. Welcome back, youngster. Looking to go across to the tower? Off we go then. The circle is amazing. Thank you so much for making this possible. Care to partake of Ogren's fine homebrew? It's the drink of the gods. Mm, ale, is it? And I hope it's brewed hygienically? Of course. 
I may not know clean from a beggar's ass when it comes to most things, but I don't mess around with my ale. Very well, let's have a taste. Well? Well? What do you think? Mmm, very nice. Ah, you like it? <laughs> well, I never... Attractive amber color, nutty flavor, slightly sweet, just a hint of toastiness. There's some spice to it I'm finding hard to place. Yes, yes? Is it cloves? Cloves! Ha <laughs> ha! By the stone, you're a lady after my own heart. If I weren't buckled in this armor, I'd take you around the corner and, well, you know... Give me more ale? I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates? while a Blight claws at our land. The Blight is why I'm here. With Kaelin dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen, and I lead her armies. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the Tern before witnesses. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. 
Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight, with your selfish ambitions to the throne. I was not talking to you. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this Blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. I would not ask you to, but bear in mind that he will be well protected by his alliance with Loghain. He always seemed the kind of man who enjoyed kicking stray dogs. I would not have thought Loghain would trust him. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the lands meet then. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. It doesn't have better things to do. I like to think of them as accessories. I suspect that it is an art that was practiced when golems were more, um, commonplace. My former master collected whatever lore he could find on the subject. He searched far and wide to collect what crystals he could and then added them. It is not an unpleasant sensation. So, I would assume. My former master enjoyed poking around the ruins in the deep roads, after all, and bartering with others who did. As I understand it, the crystals allow me to alter the flow of magic around me. Wilhelm had hoped to turn me into a battery of mana, something he could tap at will. Not really, although now that I think of it, these attempts may be what caused my disruption. Some of the crystals increase the presence of mana, some absorb or reflect spells. There are various kinds. All I can promise is that should it ever find one of these crystals, I can likely tell it the function and what it would do if added to me. Wilhelm said they came from the Deep Roads. So, anywhere such things end up, I suppose. That answers its question, I assume. Unless it has more. Better to save them for the next random stranger it decides to interrogate. Let us leave now. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What say you? By all means. I know little enough of the Dalish other than the fact that my mother was one, or so I was told. She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. All this tale in the book. How should I know? 
My mother was a whore, as you'll recall. None of the other elven boys in the whorehouse knew their fathers. I was not so unusual. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. My first victim, as it were. We were all raised communally by the whores. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. Until eventually I was sold to the crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. My original point is that my mother's Dalish nature was always a point of fascination for me. Through all the years of my crow training, the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. They were of Dalish make, I knew that much, and beautiful. I had to keep them hidden, of course, as we were not allowed such things. Eventually, they were discovered and I never saw them again. Not at all. I think of myself as Antivan. Still, that did not stop me from running off to join a clan when I drew near Antiva City once. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But, such is life. Come, enough talk of the Dalish. Let us move on. I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. Right here, old pal. You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. You're a monster on the field already, Warden. But your style just doesn't give itself to mad rage. Too much thinking, too much, uh, what you call it, uh, finesse. But if you know someone fit for this type of work, I'll teach him. It'll be nice to have another Berserker to grunt at for a change. What the sod is there to know? You get mad, you fly into battle, and things die. It's pretty simple. The hard part is getting in touch with your rage. We all learn to hold that back. It's why we don't kill every duster who looks at us sideways. You need to shut that off. For some people, being in battle is enough. But others have to think about something. Violence, monsters, nobles, your wife, whatever. <laughs> I, especially my wife. Hi, all right then. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Hmm. Is something troubling you? No one said it would be easy. You are one of the two surviving Grey Wardens in Ferelden. You defend all of us, and much rests on your shoulders. It may not mean much to you, but thank you for having the courage to continue to fight. And that gives me hope. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. The Queen. She is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is very subtle, no? But when and how, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denrum is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands answers.
things no decent person would repeat. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. King Kaelin was like a son to him, and Loghain left him to die. Does he love Anora more? Who can say? I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on our Eamon. Yes, that is what she hoped he would say. Loghain, he has said much about the young Grey Warden who survived. He is worried, no? We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. I have some uniforms. I'll have, I have so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants and friends. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to house estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. I'm glad you decided to help. With the Nora's knowledge, we have a far better chance against Loghain. From Alina's story, he turned against her first. If he truly intends to sacrifice her, I think it will be strong motivation to break the parental bonds. In any event, I would far rather have the opportunity to ask such things of her than simply hear about her murder. If Honora speaks out against Loghain, hers would indeed be one of the most powerful voices of the Landsmeet. She and Kaelin were promised as children and practically raised together. She was a smart child, knew how to listen, and how to blink those big blue eyes and get anything she wanted. Her mother's looks, her father's brains, and the best tutoring Merrick's money could buy. It's a potent combination. As you like. My palace is your palace. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. Of course. You mean other than becoming a Grey Warden? Hmm. You know, I asked Duncan this too. And all I got was, you'll see. Oh, it's not that Duncan wants to keep it a secret, it's just that the Grey Wardens don't discuss it much. I gather it's not a pleasant topic. The first change I noticed was an increase in appetite. I used to get up in the middle of the night and raid the castle larder. I thought I was starving. I'd slurp down every dinner like it was my last, <laughs> my face all covered in gravy. When I'd look up, the other Grey Wardens would stare, then laugh themselves to tears. Really, because I was watching you wolf down food the other day, and I thought, ooh, it's a good thing she gets a lot of exercise. I'll say, uh, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> um, no, don't hit me, I bruise easily. Oh, and then there were the nightmares. Duncan said it was part of how we sense the darkspawn. We tap into their, well, I don't know what you call it, their group mind, and when we sleep, it's even worse. You learn to block it out after a while, but at first it's hard. It's supposed to be worse for those who join during a blight. How is it for you? Some people never have much trouble, but that's rare. Others have trouble sleeping their entire life. They're just more sensitive, I suppose. Everyone ends up the same, though. Once you reach a certain age, the real nightmares come. That's how a Grey Warden knows his time has come. Oh, that's right. We never had time to tell you that part, did we? Well, in addition to all the other wonderful things about being a Grey Warden, you don't need to worry about dying from old age. You've got 30 years to live. Give or take. The taint. It's a death sentence. Ultimately, your body won't be able to take it, 
when the time comes, most Grey Wardens go to Orzammar and die in battle rather than waiting. It's tradition. You'll always find Darkspawn down where the Dwarves are. The oldest Grey Wardens head to the Deep Roads for one last glorious battle. Not that there's a shortage of Darkspawn during the Blight, but that's the tradition. The Dwarves respect us for it. And you wondered why we kept the joining a secret from the new recruits. And there you have it. You know, Duncan... He started having the nightmares again. He told me that in private. He said it wouldn't be long before he'd go to Orzammar himself. I guess he got what he wanted. I just wish it had been something worthy of him. I know. Ending the Blight should make this all worthwhile, right? So you mentioned you had a son. What happened to him? I honestly don't know, Alistair. He was... taken from me. Such births are seldom, as there are ways to prevent it, but it does happen. And any child born to a Circle Mage belongs to the Chantry. I... I didn't know. I'm sorry. It's all right. It was a long time ago. A very long time ago. Couldn't you do something about it? Do what? I was weak from the birthing process, and there were... No, there was nothing I could do. Do you think about him? All the time. Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please leave the customer alone. How can I help you? Um... You just don't know when to quit! <laughs> Why so glum, Erin? Today is a glorious day. Today, I make dragon scale armor. I feel just giddy. Patience, patience. Now, I've dreamed of what I would do every night. It's in my head in perfect clarity. It will be the work of hours. What? what? You're serious? Absolutely. The only question is what type of armor. Dragon scale is marvelous, flexible and tough. I could make a lighter set of dragon skin armor, heavy dragon scale armor, or dragon bone plate. What interests you? Excellent! Excellent! Now don't move! There you go. My life's work, that is. You did it so fast! Of course, Heren. Have some faith. I am a master armorer, you know. Miracles never cease. But you, you're not welcome here anymore. I need a sabbatical. Maybe someplace warm. I hate my life. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. So they sent you, Talison. Or did you volunteer for the job? I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Oh, does Zevra need to live? I suspect I will manage just fine, Talison. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. I'm not coming back. And you should have stayed in Antiva.
Talison is dead, and I am free of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talison. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, they will not seek me out. I do not know. It seems I have options now, whereas once I had none. I have enjoyed our company, but I am wondering if it is not time for me to leave. That would be the practical thing to do, no? There is a freedom awaiting me that I have never known. But I suppose the decision is yours. Will you let me go? Do you? Hmm. I suppose there are worse things I could do with my time than save the world? <laughs> and who could resist such a request? Very well. I will not abandon you. Let us return to the task at hand, then. There is still much to be done, yes? The Selvam's entrance is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Our how is inside. The estate is in poor repair. The new owl, he has not been very prompt in paying his workmen. I will be right behind you. This way. Let's get started. Someone's creeping around down there. Go check it out. On it. I think we work well together. Jarl used to come here in the winter when I was small. I, uh, slept with the hounds. I can distract the guards, but you must move quickly. More guards patrol every hour. If they find these two missing, they will know... how you say... Something is amiss. Hurry! My lady does not have much time. Are you all prepared? I will go distract the guards. These two know who is allowed to come and go. They will not be fooled. But the uniform should work on most of those inside. I will lure them into the courtyard. Wait in the bushes. Move and parry! Strike and kill! Time for some fun! So much for subtlety. We must hurry. There will be little time before the patrol finds what you have done. You must be careful now. The servants, they will not look closely at anyone in uniform. All guards are alike to a cook, no? But you should not draw attention to yourself. Most of the guards are new, 
They will not know you for a stranger at a glance. It is best you keep your distance from all of them and try to blend in. She is in the guest room of the main hall. Andra, stay guide us. Warden is here, my lady. Thank the Maker. I would greet you properly, but I'm afraid we've had a setback. My host was not content with leaving me under heavy guard. He sealed the door by magic. I did not know. There were only guards here when I left. We must get her out of there. Don't panic, Erlina. Find the mage who cast the spell. He'll most likely be at Hal's side. Well, if he didn't know you were here, he soon will. Thank you, Warden. My prayers go with you. Theron Howe will probably be in his rooms. They're at the end of the hall, on the left. Who goes there? I thank you for creating such distraction, stranger. I have been waiting days for the opportunity. Do you think you could... Alistair? Is that you? Who... Wait. I do know you. You were at my joining. He's one of us. A warden from Orlais. Jada, I think. Or was it Monsumar? I'm afraid I don't remember your name. Amri Orden, senior warden of Jada. But born and bred in Hyever. And glad to be home. Yes, these are my records. The names of the dead I could recognize at Ostagar. What I could find of Duncan's own recruitment records. Copies of the joining ritual I rescued from our Denerim vault. Those should never be seen by any outside eyes, but I trust in their encryption. Would that I could, for Ferelden sorely needs them. But for the joining to work, the recruit needs not only fresh darkspawn blood, but a drop of blood preserved from an archdemon. For Elden's supply should have been in the vault, but it was gone. I can only imagine someone took it out and Loghain either confiscated or destroyed it. As you know, the joining's chance of success is slim anyway. Loghain has done far worse to the Wardens than cut us off from recruiting. And from the rumors flying through Denerim, removing him from the throne is already your plan, no? I saw him going to the dungeons. He may still be there. With an offer of hospitality and a poison chalice. I was fool enough to think Loghain didn't yet know who I was. For the most part, attempting to hold my tongue. I was sent when we received no word from King Caelan as to the outcome at Ostagar. The King had invited all the Wardens of Orlais and their support troops to join him. Then nothing. We had 200 Wardens and two dozen divisions of cavalry. The first we heard of Loghain's edict was when everyone was turned back at the border. That was when the rumor reached us that Wardens were being blamed for the massacre. We finally decided it was safest to send someone alone to learn how best to fight the Blight and this regime simultaneously. As a native Ferelden, I volunteered to make the crossing. 
The other Wardens won't risk their strength fighting Ferelden's civil war. If they spend themselves against Loghain, there is truly no hope. They recall accounts of the first blight, how many cities fell. If Ferelden is too foolish to save itself, at least, we'll be ready when the Archdemon leads its forces further. Besides, I hear you haven't been doing badly at raising an army yourself. But perhaps if the Edict can be lifted, I will send a message as soon as we are gone from this place. This is hardly the best place to talk. We've been staying with Arleman at his estate. If you need a place to stay, I'm sure he'd make you welcome. At Arleman's, then. And good luck, sister. Who goes? Anybody tries to come in here without Howl's say so, we get to do what we like with them. I think we finally got a bit of entertainment here, lads. <laughs> this supposed to be a lesson? Did my father think it funny to leave me for so long before sending you? Then my... my father didn't send you? I am Oswin, son of Ban Sigurd, of the Dragon's Peak Banon. If you aren't one of our soldiers, pray tell me, who should I be thanking for my rescue? Then I have no question about why you would come, Warden. For it is your men who have suffered the most here. You have my heartfelt gratitude. And, I assume, the gratitude of the entire Dragon's Peak Banon. If my father sent no one after me, I can only assume that he does not yet know the true colors of the snakes he is allied with. But if you talk to him, I'm certain he would offer you any reward you might ask. One soldier returning from Ostagar was my wet nurse's son. We have been friends since birth. He told me his unit was ordered to turn their backs on Kalen at Ostagar, before the Darkspawn overwhelmed him. The next day he disappeared. When I went to search for him, I accepted a drink from a stranger and ended up here. Then there is a landsmeet after all. How said the Isle of Redcliffe was dead, and the landsmeet called off? I swear, if there be any forum to speak out against Loghain, my father will be there. Now, please, I must try to get to him. I cannot see the last of this place too soon. This should be easy enough. They said to retreat. The horn sounded, and we turned, and then the screams. We rode, and they screamed, and screamed, and... <sighs> Mother, can you smell the blood? They said it was only Darkspawn. But we ate them, too. They died, and we left them. In the swamp. The witch. The witch! He's obviously mad. I don't think you'll get anything more out of him. Safe? Is there a safe? Perhaps next door? What month is it? Are you some enemy of our Lurians? Please, I feel like I've spent half my life down here. Dead. Then who's ruling? His son, Vaughn, he struck me down and I woke up here. People were so angry, they 
They were thinking of petitioning the king. There have been many changes since they caught me. I need to find out what happened. I need to get home, or flee the city. I... I thank you for your aid, stranger. I wish I had more than gratitude to offer. Well, look here. Bryce Kooslin's little Spitfire, all grown up and still playing the man. I thought Logan made it clear that your pathetic family is gone and forgotten. Your parents died on their knees. Your brother's corpse rots in Ostagar, and his brat was burned on a scrap heap along with his Antiban whore of a wife. And what's left? A fool husk of a daughter likely to end her days under a rock in the deep roads. Even the Wardens are gone. You're the last of nothing. This is pointless. You've lost. A clumsy appeal, child. He was a traitor to me and a coward to his nation. Trips to Orle, gifts from old enemies, all while I sank in obscurity. Your family squandered glory that was rightfully mine. How suitable that their deaths should raise me to the ear of a king. If you think you can take this from me, that I will allow it, you are very much mistaken. Desperation is an Make a spit on you. I deserved more. Hmm. Who's there? Stay away. You can't do this to me. I'll have you all flayed. I'm the Arl of Denerim. I'm Vaughn Kendall's, heir to the Arling of Denerim. It's true. Too many of our troops were lost at Ostagar. When the riots started, Howe came with men to reinforce the garrison here. Or that's what he claimed. As soon as I let him into the palace, he threw me in here. One more victim of the Elven uprising, he said. Let me out of here. I'll do anything. You know how elves are. Every now and then they start to think they're people, and you have to put them back in their proper place. What? You fat whore! Come back here! Let me out! Maker, have mercy under us, day. Bride of the Maker, have mercy on me. I'll stun her. Is that you, little sister? No, I, I don't know you, do I? Are you real? I, I I'm Erminric, Knight Lieutenant of the Denerim Chantry. You aren't one of the Tern's men? He sounds like he's in Lyrium withdrawal. He's got all the signs, confusion, weepiness. He probably doesn't even know what he's saying. If the Grand Cleric knew he were in here, she'd be spitting hot coals. Nobles don't have authority over Templars. I... Uh, I failed in my duties, Maker. Forgive me. I failed, and there's no telling what he's done. The Malefica. He had turned blood magic upon Templars and Circle Mages to escape from his tower. Near Redcliffe, I cornered him. But the Thames men took him from me, and brought me here. Yes, he destroyed his phylactery. We were spread out, trying to find him. 
I was alone. I... You are real, aren't you? My dreams are so strange now. Please, if you're not a dream, help me. Give this ring to my sister, Alstana. Tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. Please, ask her to pray for me. My thanks. Thank you. I'll trust you to lead us safely out. If house people find me, I'll be killed. And my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have me killed. Warden. In the name of the Regent, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe and his men-at-arms. Surrender, and you may be shown mercy. Don't be ridiculous. The Queen isn't being held prisoner here or anywhere else. Her father would never stand for such a thing. What? Sir Catherine? Praise the Maker, you're here. This brigand tried to kidnap me. Unbelievable. Bring them down! Logan wants the warden, dead or alive! I may have done a terrible thing. What's this? She throws her savior to the wolves, and now she has second thoughts? What in Andraste's name has happened? Are you all right? The Wardens have been captured. I'm still waiting for a reason not to slit her throat and toss her in the river. I haven't heard it yet. What? How could this happen? Never mind that. The question is how to free her. Surely you mean them, Your Highness. We need Alistair too. Yes, of course, I meant Alistair too. Kalthrian will take her to Fort Draken. Getting in will be no small feat. Oh, you're awake. I was starting to worry. I've been worse. I'll be better still when we get out of here. I hope you have a plan.
should be easy enough. What's the password? <sighs> Blighted green recruits. Nobody gets through without it. You never... Hey, are you relieving me? It's about time. Good. Mind the blighted chainmail. The commander will skin us both if he finds any rust. Let's get started. What's this? Ah! You must be the new recruits we were expecting. You're late. The rest of your patrol is in the storage room. Find them and get yourselves ready for inspection. Did you need something? Thank the Maker! What are we going to do about him, though? <sighs> is there some problem? So the Assistant Quartermaster is a little miffed with us at present. I told you we should have put those potatoes in the cellar straight away. Some things went amiss. Mistakes were made. The Quartermaster got chewed out by Tern Logang, and then he chewed out the Assistant. And now to get back at us for landing him in trouble, the assistant quartermaster won't give us our blades. And you can't pass inspection without a regulation sword. It's uh, probably better that the officers know as little about this as possible. I told you those potatoes were going to go off. But he doesn't have any beef with you. Maybe you could talk to him. He's down the hall in the armory. Make her help us. I trust a secret colonel. He's gone! Well, don't just stand there. Get your blade and let's report to the colonel before he gets back. <laughs> 